last Wednesday, Tony Khan validated pretty much what people had thought, which is his announcement was going to be a show in London. Now, the venue, I think, was a major surprise to a lot of people. I want to thank you because we were able to get together last week. Uh, you were the debut guest on my new podcast on the Fight Game Media Network called Extra, Fight Game, Fight Game Podcast Extra. And so we we were able to kind of talk a little bit about this, but I wanted to extend that conversation because now we've had a few more days to to think about it. Were you really surprised that Wembley Stadium was the choice of venue? You know, I initially I was told Wembley Stadium. And I didn't, I thought it was, the way it was said to me, I thought it was very unrealistic, uh, considering what I didn't know. You know, I didn't know the date at the time. And then it started tracking like, well, the date's interesting because it's the week before the All Out show. I didn't know it was going to be called All In. Um, we still don't have a lot of the information. And I was under the impression they would probably run the arena in Wembley. Mm-hmm. What is it? O, o, I don't know if it's OVO or OVO. I thought, okay, you know what? That's not bad. It's like a 13, 14,000 person building. They'll do, they'll sell that out within seconds and they'll put a great show for the UK crowd. But, you know, we've heard the, we've heard people say that Tony tends to run small venues and he's made mistakes running, you know, first time markets running the wrong venues. I mean, this is going to the whole different side of this. He's running a gigantic stadium. The expectation is not 90,000, but, uh, can they do 65? Uh, I think it really has to do, in my opinion, and I'm not, I'm not, this is not a scoop, uh, whether or not they have punk. That's really what this is going to come down to because I don't, listen, no knock at anybody, right? I'm not knocking the product. I absolutely, you know, if you were going to say that I'm a little bit what, what content I like, I like AEW more than WWE, especially current, you know, with the, with the wrestling, but, I feel like I have to say that every week because I get called, you know, people like, oh, you're on the WWE payroll. I'm like, I, I don't even know how you could come up with that because I tend to talk about <laughs> AEW 90% of the time. Brother, if we I, were on the WWE payroll. We'd have a charcuterie board, apparently. That's what they oh said. Oh, my God. Like, like oh. imagine if, okay, you know, when people say that, it's so stupid. Imagine if WWE paid us to do this show for this website. Wouldn't we get guests? Wouldn't, wouldn't like, <laughs> uh, Drew McIntyre be on this show with us to discuss, yeah. you know, Wembley Stadium? Like, that's, that's not so funny to me. But, uh, you know, I know what they're saying. Oh, you know, you get yeah. paid under under the table. They, they want they want you to promote X, Y, and Z. I wish, man. I, I wish so, they did. Uh, listen, man, I, maybe one day. You never know. Uh, <laughs> I I would say, well, we saw what happened to live audio wrestling, right? When, when uh, Anthem bought, I guess, bought the Fight Network. Yeah. Right. And then they had to turn the thing into a TNA show. One of the greatest pro wrestling radio programs of all time. Live audio yep. wrestling. Uh, it ended up becoming a TNA show. So uh, fascinating. Um, I would say if you don't how punk is going to be a factor here. OK, I, I'm telling you, it, and it depends on what that factor is. Can they can AW do 45,000 people without CM Punk? Absolutely. 100 percent. I'm going to give you a an... and a good program. Absolutely. I'm gonna, Can they do I'm gonna give you a number. I'm gonna give you an over under number like I did Big Dave. By the way, you mentioned live audio wrestling. I'm gonna talk to John Pollock coming up here this week. One of the best, uh, man. He's a, and he is extra. he is a you know what? Credit to John Pollock. We always talk about Sean and Dave. John Pollock's one of the other good ones. Yeah, we're gonna have a sure. I, I, I wanna pick his brain about the whole content creation aspect of, of what he's doing and I think his I think post wrestling is is fa is fascinating. Th those guys uh, those guys pivoted very well. Okay, so here's the number. This is the number I gave Big Dave on Wrestling Observer Radio on Friday, and maybe my over under was a little high. Let's drop it to fifty thousand uh, fifty thousand tickets sold for Wembley Stadium. But uh, Dave went would the you over, go over on 55, right? Dave bet the over on 55, but he but was on Twitter. Not, he like, backtracked. I, th I think he kind of I think it was a joke, maybe that that maybe. he was backtracking. But I don't know. I, I never asked him about it. Um, but what would you if I if I gave you 50? Are you over under? W uh, with with the current roster? Everything that we know right now, because, uh -huh. of course, you know, 
they could debut some you know actually they wouldn't debut anybody because you'd have to at least i i i, I would say they could do the over uh, it depends on a couple things, right? It depends on the climate. It depends on ticket prices. We saw the leak of ticket prices. They're starting, they're going from $30 to $500, which is uh, five pounds. So uh, I don't know how that, you know, compares because I don't know the market with ticket sales in the UK. Uh, but overseas, that comes over, it tends to do well. WWE tends to do great business over there. They, they did great in Cardiff, not in London. You but know, they those, went to Wales those and ticket did that. Those tickets were much more expensive, I believe. Very expensive. The WWE tickets, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's probably um, smart to come in under, you know? Do you want to fill listen, up that stadium? Listen, they did New York. They, they did 20,000 in New York in a building that has never held any kind of event like this. So could you do 50 in a, in a really hot market? Yeah, I, I think I would go the over. I, I would guess the over on that. I think, I think right out of the gate, they're probably selling between 20 and 25. And then everything is just about the build to that show and the possible matches you can see. Uh, Big Dave floated out Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay with Will beating Kenny for, the, uh, the, for Kenny's uh, New Japan title. If you do that match and you're, you know, you're sitting 40-ish, could that get it over 50? It might be able to do so. I think that's okay. that's a hot match. Is, yeah. Here's one for you. Okay. Go for it. What if you did uh throw I'm gonna throw out two two scenarios and you tell me. And actually, this is great. We're live, right? The chat room could participate in this. We're live, pal. We're live, pal. Uh, which is not the not what he said. No, <laughs> that's the best part of this. He said you're, you're live, pal. pal. <laughs> uh, if it's a trios match. Punk and FTR versus Aussie Open is the number is the number sixty thousand. Are you going sixty thousand over under? I'm going to throw Punk, another scenario right. Punk after and that. FTR against Aussie Open and Osprey. Is that is that your match? What well, Osprey? Osprey? Yeah, and Osprey. I don't think that would do as well as Kenny and Will together. Okay. How about if it's if it's the elite versus FTR and Punk? Is that that's definitely doing over sixty five? I think that is a giant match. That's and... a huge match. I mean, you're, now you're talking maybe seventy. You know, I, I'm not saying that that's going to happen. And it's very realistic that will never happen. If very if very you, realistic. If you tell if you tell me if if I put it back at what I told Day fifty five, and you tell me FTR and Punk against the elite. I think I would take the over because when I asked Dave, I was kind of sitting, you know, 45, 50 with the current climate as it is. But if we do get, you know, if we do get something like that, that could definitely push it over 55. Yeah, I, I still there, think uh, I, I think Omega and Osprey could push it over 55 as well. They, you know what? Very possible. Uh, that that's a, that's a very big reality. I, I think there. I would I will say. This is going to be a very interesting summer for AEW. Uh, based on the the that that Saturday show that that's buzzing right now, you know whatever collision or whatever they're going to call it, uh, depending on what they do with that product, uh, we already know it's like, they their dates set right. We know that there are some Saturday dates set for that. Uh, I between that. Maybe all out being at the United Center, new contract year. They're doing a stadium. They they're coming back to Grand Slam right after that. They're gonna have show after show after show the next couple months. 